Okay, everybody, this is your psychic, Christine Wallace. I know you're very surprised to hear that. (laughs) Thanks again for being here. Let me know uh, if you're liking these daily episodes. So that way I know to keep it up. If you find it helpful, if you're enjoying it, put up a comment. Like, share, and subscribe. You know what to do. So I'd like to uh, start us off with an affirmation for today. And I would like you to go ahead and repeat after me. But before we start that, let's take, uh, let's breathe in positive energy through our nose. And let's exhale negative energy from our mouths. And let's go ahead and do that three times. And on the exhale, be sure to loosen up your body. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to go ahead and do that. Awesome, awesome. So let's get ready and just repeat after me. I am open to self-discovery and clarity. On this Transformation Tuesday, I take the time to explore my desires passions, and dreams. I trust that as I gain a deeper understanding of what I want, my path becomes clearer and my purpose becomes more defined. Today, I embrace the journey of self-discovery with enthusiasm and curiosity. That's it. Now go ahead and just take a breath in through your nose, breathing in positive, exhale negative. You only have to do it once now. Perfect. Good job, everybody. Good job. Soon, I am planning to do some live shows. And once I get enough of you subscribed, then we're going to go ahead and start that where you can be able to ask me some questions. We can be able to talk about some stuff that's going on in your life and we can, you know, talk about possible solutions and all that good stuff. So on this Transformation Tuesday, I would like you to create a vision board. I'm sure that many of you probably know what a vision board is. Maybe a lot of you don't know. But the reason that I'm telling you to create a vision board is because there are so many of us waddling around knowing that we want something, we want to feel better, we want to be happier, but we really don't have uh, a clear understanding of what the goal is. I hope that makes sense. So basically, it's kind of like, what is the goal? Like, what is the end game? What are we, what is going to make us happy? Is it material things? Is it love? Is it more travel? Is it change my job? Get this kind of job? A lot of us are basing our decisions on fear. You know, if you do some self-examination, you'll probably realize that you make a lot of fear-based decisions. You know that you want to maybe get out of something that you are currently in, but are not very clear on where is it exactly that you wish to go. 
And I know that even though I'm a psychic, it's a good idea for us to, you know, not leave too much up to chance. <laughs> Actually, a lot of people come in to see me specifically for that reason, so that I can be able to kind of like help navigate uh, your life moving forward to understand like what's going on presently so we can understand, you know, where you're going in the future. And if there's something you don't like about the future, then you have the ability to make some changes and adjustments. So with that being said, I know that many people, because they're, you know, always trying to get away from something, but not necessarily knowing where they're going to, because many of us are like not in the best mindset or whatever the case may be. But by creating a vision board, you will be able to find stuff that actually inspires you. And this will help you even learn more about you, like what your likes are, what your dislikes are. Uh, you know, you can make it all about anything you want. You can like, it's like the world is your oyster. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to give you like a list of supplies. You're probably going to need to create this vision board. And I want you to like really get into this. You're going to start, you know, getting some magazines together, some scissors, some glue, some tape. Maybe, uh, like, what are those things called? There's a name. For some reason, it's not coming to me right this second, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, what are those things called, Jesus? I completely forgot. Hopefully, maybe someone will tell me what I'm thinking of. You know those books that we create and kind of like we put letters in there, like maybe like collect different things over time and put it all together. So that's the kind of thing that I'd like you to do. And I'd like you to, um, not rush through it. I want you to reflect. I want you to set intentions. I want you to kind of, you know, do this with the best of intentions and wanting to like manifest, take a, a few moments to reflect on the transformations that you want to make in your life, whether they're related to personal growth, relationships, career, or any other aspect, set clear and positive intentions for all of these changes, okay? And like I said, you're going to be able to find, once you like get probably the first couple of things together, you're going to find that creative flow coming in to create that uh, vision board, or you can like put everything in a book. But to be honest, I'd prefer you to have the vision board and hang it up on the wall. Because when we create vision boards and they're kind of in our face, our mind like, uh, is, is kind of looking at it. It's influencing us. Even though when we're not even paying much attention to it, having it in our environment brings about that good vibe and helps us to reach those goals. Um, it almost works like a to-do list, Right? So for this uh, Transformation Tuesday, I'd like you to set that up for yourself and just watch how the magic happens. You know, sometimes when we put this stuff together, things just end up happening a lot sooner than we ever expected. But like I said, take the ball and run with it. I don't want you to set any like lim limitations for yourself. Like even saying to yourself, oh, that's never going to happen. Even if it, you don't feel like it's realistic, I just want you to put up stuff that you like, you know, um, and have that energy in your environment because it is a positive influence and it helps you to follow that path 
to reach and achieve that kind of cool stuff that makes you happy. I'm sure a lot of you are definitely like getting my drift as far as what I'm trying to say here. So also, I would love for you to, you know, also set up like an action plan alongside of your vision board. So I'd like you to also make a list of some actionable steps that you can take to move towards those goals. Baby steps, you know, baby steps are good. Break down your transformations into smaller achievable tasks. So let me know how you feel about creating a vision board for yourself. And I'd love to hear, you know, some of the stuff that you're, you know, doing and how it's affecting you, uh, how it's influencing you. And like I said, break everything down into small, achievable tasks. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Tuesday. Have a bunch of fun getting your vision board together. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> And also inspiring and helping you to know what it is that you want and what it is that's going to make you happy. And this way we're focusing more on the future and less on our past, which many of us can find, you know, holds us back or brings us down. So we want to stop, you know, the whole self-sabotaging thing because the mind can be so funny, you know, so we want to always fill it up with as much positive and good stuff because it's, it's weird how it works, meaning the mind and also your spirit and your faith, the mind, body, and spirit all working together as one. So we don't want to fill it up with stuff that doesn't serve us. So keep that in mind. Love you all. Sending all of my listeners lots of love and light. Let's get those vision boards together, guys. Uh, namaste. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>